Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Terrapin. I actually reviewed this about, um, it's about a year and a half ago and reason why, or actually yeah, a year and a half ago, the reason why I picked this up is this is another BOGO uh, at Publix. Publix is our local kind of like a nicer <laughs> supermarket and they do a buy one get, uh, buy one, get one um, of beers uh, or they change up every week and Terrapin is one. So Terrapin, a uh, regional brewery that actually, you know, makes it down here. Um, a lot of them are the sold out, you know, macro wish kind of breweries, but this one is still, I think, uh, yeah, not sold out, right? So this one is high and hazy IPA, 5.8% high and hazy. I always guess it was would be higher in alcohol, but I guess not. Um, pretty low on the ABV scale for IPA, actually just in the bottom. <laughs> five five to seven five is the uh, I, um, I, uh, IPA range, and this is 5.8. This was canned. Oh, geez. Whoa, that is rough. All right, let's see this. So... This is a Best Buy, Best Buy of April, and we're in January right now, April. So this is a two month old can, hmm. very possible. And usually what I've noticed is that when they do the, the BOGOs, they're just super fresh. I mean, you're moving hundreds of thousands of cases of beer. I'm talking about a region where uh, you have a super high volume supermarket chain um, and they put these up like up front like this is not in the beer section this is where you just walk into the store and literally i don't actually buy anything from Publix outside of i guess they're like pre-made food like or pre like not pre-made food like you know their sandwiches their deli section stuff and then i literally when i do that will even sometimes i'll just go there and just see this little island where they have like five six products like hey um uh, May mayonnaise, you know, um, is uh, buy one get one, or Heinz ketchup is buy one get one, or these kind of uh, granola bars are buy one get, and the bar and the beer is right there. It's prominent, tons of kind of like people seeing it. The product, like if you were that brewery, you would try to make sure the beer was fresh. You're sending a ton of it to this chain. Uh, that's a highlight because in that week, whoever buys that beer, hopefully they like it and they buy more of it. But who knows? This might be two months fresh. So let's see, six months, best buy, yeah. Let's see. Um, Beer's really light, really pale, um, has light haze to it. Uh, they say they have a bunch of tropical hops in here, good amount of wheat and oats. It smells okay. It's like a little bit of like um, candied lemon sweetness, a uh, little bit of that kind of like pale doughy malt thing. Very light, almost like a, you no, know, it smells almost like a, a hazy pale or something like that, but reminds me of the sort of larger brewery attempts at a hazy IPA. It's not the big, juicy, ripe, sweet. It's sort of like very pretty and tropical. Again, zippy and light on the nose. Um, on the palate, it has a heavy dankness to it. Wow. Um, this reminds me of Mosaic. So I would certainly guess Mose Mosaic is the one that gives it this, right? So what I call is that up front, it's got a really nice pop of... Um, Grapefruit peel, very light and zippy, lemon peel, lemon oils. It's got this all this like oily citrus um, peel flavor up front. Got a little bit of tropical in there as well. Almost get a little bit of like kumquat and a uh, faint hint of like candied, like uh, pineapple rings. Really nice kind of like light. Um, Malt character and then it hits with the mosaic, which is that kind of like melon with like green character. This herbaceousness comes in, it almost is a green tea, and then also this kind of like lingering kind of uh, light herbal note that uh, sits on the palate. So it's like, yeah, mosaic's the one that like when somebody grabs that flavor um, descriptor for me, it's gonna sing, but it's like some combination of uh, dank and dirty. So it has that West Coast thing that the uh, West Coast brewers are doing where it's like tropical-ish up front and fruity up front, but then also has this kind of like pot soil, um, brownish black kind of like base tone where it's like, and I mean, the best descriptor is like soily. Soily, herbal, it's like a little bit chivey, not quite towards like onion and garlic, um, but herbaceous throughout. And then a little bit like green, chlorophyllic, grassy, get some of that. And then that leans towards a little bit of like dank pine flavor. Hmm. So for like a larger, like, I mean, this is like a top 50 sized, uh, top 50 uh, craft brewery. Um, this is a pretty crushable, delicious, kind of like quote unquote hazy. Um, I mean, this for me does a way better job 
than uh, Sierra Nevada's Hazy Little Thing, which is like, you know, crushing it. I think it's the second top sold IPA in the country. That's what a lot of people associate with hazy slash New England kind of beer. This is way better than that. It's not even close. I think for the large brewery doing a under 6% hazy kind of thing, this has got to be one of the best. Let's go with a solid rating. I'm going to give this guy an 80. I'm going to give it a solid 89. Ah, maybe even better than that. It's crushable. It's a well-made beer. I'm going to go solid 90. Bump it up to 90. I'm just impressed. It just, you know, 90 is not an insane score, but for something that's like accessible, um, tiny, under 6%, you know, you find it and, and super drinkable and it just does its job. Wow. Fantastic. That's a 90 for me. Uh, I think when I remember, I think I was impressed with this guy uh, when I had it a while ago. So check it out. Terrapin, you know, I, for me, Terrapin was always like Moohoo Milk Stout and um, geez, Terrapin, Terrapin. Um, was it them? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, uh, the they're, they're, Oh, their coffee beer. <laughs> Sorry. And then the bottle that had the muhu and the treatment and all that stuff. Anyway, um, it was all, everything was always in a bottle. Uh, sorry, the, uh, ter oh, the, ter the terpent, the coffee stout. Yeah. Wake and bake, wake and bake. There you go. Um, so that, that, that's what, what I was associated. I, I never associated them with like, you know, IPA or hops and anything, but like now they have hops executioner down here, which is very popular. And then this beer. So, uh, 90 for me, me, the hops are great. Uh, I guess I need to try the OG stuff that I recognize. Cause I'll, all I remember is the Muhu, the treated Mohus, uh, the wake and bake, wake and bake was killer, you know, super highly rated. That was like a KBS killer back in the day so, or not KBS killer, a uh, breakfast style killer back in the day. So until next time guys, cheers. Um, some OG beers that I just mentioned until next time. Cheers later.